Crime fighting is being modernized, and like most everything else, technology is playing a big role. And it's getting its start in Frankfort, Kentucky. Rahel Solomon has our story. For more than 30 years, police labs have been using DNA to help solve cases. But the technology is time consuming and expensive. Now, law enforcement across the nation is testing out a new technology that could completely change crime solving as we know it. Let's be clear, this is a game changer. The traditional process begins here in this lab, but there are four more steps after it, all of which happen in different parts of the building. With this new device, everything happens inside this box. We're not doing some kind of magical chemistry inside a magical box. We're using the same chemical approach in the labs. We've just automated it. We've made it faster, and we've made it so that humans don't have to handle it. Kentucky just announced it's using the device to test all sexual assault kits, and it's already hearing from interested departments all around the country. We have gotten east coast to west coast. 27 states in just the last few weeks. Supporters have called the device revolutionary, but it's not without its limitations. You have to have a very good sample in order to run it through the system and get a good profile. If it's a, just a trace amount of blood or semen, you're not going to get that. Critics question the collection, storage, and usage of the DNA. But Dr. Selden says it's essentially no different than a fingerprint. It says nothing about somebody's appearance, nothing about somebody's clinical status, nothing about somebody's behavioral status. It's about as impersonal as you can get. Kentucky's lab director says it costs about $2,100 per sexual assault case for the conventional testing. It costs about $2,450 for rapid DNA, although she expects that to come down over time to eventually be cheaper than the traditional method. To roll this out on a larger scale for all types of crimes in Kentucky, that would be expensive, up to $7 million a year. Time is money, and the time that it saves us will actually balance out with the cost of the reagents because the, the hours that I have to pay people versus the, what it costs to run it. No longer are we faced with six-month, nine-month, 12, 18-month delays on processing a, a, an assault kit just to come up with a potential suspect. Now we have technology in front of us that literally produces that within 90 minutes. Uh, and that turnaround time for us uh, is within five days, we may get the opportunity to, to put a name to a potential suspect. Yes, that's exciting. That is groundbreaking stuff. While interest is growing around the country, uh, a spokeswoman for the FBI says they're taking a slow and measured approach as they roll out a rapid DNA pilot program. Meanwhile, in Kentucky, they are still verifying all rapid DNA cases with the existing traditional DNA testing. But Sudcamp and others tell us there's no turning back now. We can attack 21st century problems with 21st century technology. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Rahel Solomon, Frankfurt, Kentucky.